As part of our celebration of 125 years of Army football, we are counting down the top 10 moments in Army football history. Number five, Army's 1984 Cherry Bowl victory over Michigan State. Army posted one of the nation's biggest turnarounds in 1984. Just one year after winning two games in head coach Jim Young's first season, the Black Knights found themselves in postseason for the first time at a trip to Pontiac, Michigan to take on Michigan State in the inaugural Cherry Bowl before more than 70,000 fans. While Army's triple option offense gained national headlines, on this day, it would be the Army defense setting the tone against the heavily favored Spartans. Three times in the first half, Michigan State had a chance to put points on the board, but came up empty-handed. In the first quarter, Ralph Mojisenko missed a 52-yard field goal, and quarterback Dave Garima was intercepted in the end zone by Kermit McKelvey. Early in the second quarter, Jim Gentile recovered a Michigan State fumble in Spartans territory. From there, Army began a 46-yard march, which was capped by Clarence Jones, and the Black Knights led 7 to nothing. The score would remain that way until the fourth quarter, when Army Army took advantage of another Spartans turnover, and Craig Stopa's right foot increased Army's lead to 10-0. Minutes later, Michigan State finally put its first points on the board on a 36-yard scoring toss from Urema to Bob Wazinski. But the two-point conversion attempt failed, and Army held on for a 10-6 victory. Most valuable player honors went to Army quarterback Nate Sassman, who ran for a game-high 136 yards in directing the Black Knights' option attack, while the Army defense forced five turnovers, including two interceptions by Doug Pavick, as Army came away victorious in its first-ever bowl game.